Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod actually works on single player and multiplayer. This mod reduces your lag, so if you lag in any way possible, this mod will reduce much of your lag by changing the fogs and a lot of things that causes your game to lag. Now if you have just an original Minecraft install, you will lag. It's just an ordinary Minecraft game, and look how I lag when I jump over here. It's pretty laggy. Now let me press F3 to show you how my um, frame rates are. So it goes kinda green but then it goes like red and it just keeps on going and I get a lot of lag spikes so it's not very good but this is not Optifine. I did not show you Optifine yet. I will install Optifine right about now to show you the difference. Alright so now I installed Optifine. It's not the full Optifine version but it is the unstable one. The full version might come out within a week so but anyways all we need is just the unstable version it still works perfectly let me go ahead and show you I'm gonna press F3 and it's not really as bad as it was there was a lot of lag spikes before and when I walk around it's not really as bad if you notice it's on green and turns red it just removed most of the lag spikes and now it's all fully green anyways this is what Optifine does and it gives you a lot of cool options let me go ahead and show you so when you press escape and you go here to options and you go here to controls you could see the new zoom in control which is L control let me go ahead and show you that so even in multiplayer you could zoom up and it will it will pretty much just zoom up your screen in which you can see far away and it works perfect if you're doing machinima videos or anything in which you have to zoom in it's just perfect and it's nice and even when you go to options and video settings there's a lot of cool controls in which you could customize any of these options as you will so I have it on max FPS so if you notice when you just move your mouse right on top of the button it will pull out a little menu in which it'll tell you which is faster and which is the slowest so max FPS is the fastest if you want more FPS the lowest is the power saver you can mess with the animation so if you could click right here it goes to animations and you could turn off anything of course if you have this mod installed you can go here to texture packs and you could change your texture packs in game remember just hover over the button and it'll tell you exactly what will make your game slower far distance will make your game slower normal is pretty much normal short is fast and tiny is the fastest settings that you can have on Minecraft. Of course, if you want to increase your FPS, you have to change your graphics to fast. Fancy will slow you down. Let me go ahead and try to change my options to fancy. Even on um, Optifine, if you change it to fancy, it, it still works perfectly. If you notice, I'm not even lagging. And usually I do lag when I uh, play on fancy, but I am not lagging whatsoever. Now, Optifine doesn't really work for a lot of people. I noticed that some people say that it even makes their game laggier, so uh, really just you have to test it out to see if it does uh, improve your FPS. It's one of my favorite mods because it increases your FPS. Let me go ahead and show you a server in which I'm not going to lag. So I'm going to go to multiplayer, I'm going to go to Bashcrafts, and let me just log right inside. I am on fancy settings, but let me go ahead and change that to fast to in, uh, increase my FPS. Now I'm in fast, and it shouldn't be lagging as bad as I usually do. in a bashcraft server so right now I'm not even lagging I'm just I'm looking around pretty awesome um, I was gonna join my server but my server is down for a reason I think it may be crashed my server always crashes so yeah this is pretty much it there's like some weird guy looking at me um oh never mind he's just looking over there he, oh okay alright so let's go ahead and see on how to install this awesome mod Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, there's no need to force update your game, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. But if you want to keep all your mods, you could go ahead and keep them because I'm pretty sure Optifine is compatible with a lot of mods. It used to be not compatible with Minecraft Forge, but um, supposedly now it works with Minecraft Forge, which was a big issue if you're playing with Mo Creatures. But anyways, before I install Optifine, what I'm going to want to do, of course, is go here to Options and Force Update My Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Update My Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you have mods currently installed, um, you could always back them up. My words are never clear, but back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with your mods. So Options, Force Update, and Log In to prevent a black screen. Just back up your mods. That's all it takes for you to not get a black screen screen and to always have your mods with you with within all times alright so you're gonna go into my description we're gonna go ahead and get um, Optifine now there's a lot of different versions of Optifine my favorite one I believe is the multi-threaded 
I will have that in the description once it updates. But for right now, we have to download the unstable version. So get the unstable version. Links in description. I would have the downloads and the form, so you can check them both out. So you're gonna get this from my description, and let's go ahead and install this. I'm gonna go here to start. Search your program file. I'm gonna type in percent app data percent, and for Windows XP users, you should see here run, and you run percent data percent, and it should take you up here to the roaming folder. So click on that roaming folder, and you should see dot Minecraft in the very top. You're going to go into your dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin, resources, save, and everything else. You're going to go into your bin folder. Before you open up your Minecraft.jar with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener, you have to make sure you have Minecraft closed, so you have to exit off your Minecraft game. Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game. Once you exit off your Minecraft game, go ahead and right-click your Minecraft.jar that's in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener. So open that up. Now you're going to move it aside. Now you have to delete MetaInf, so you should see a folder called MetaInf, so you have to delete it no matter what, so right click MetaInf and delete files, so delete MetaInf, say yes and delete it. Now what you're going to do is just go ahead and open up Optifine, really simple, open it up, move it aside, all you really need to do is just highlight every single file from Optifine and simply drag it all into the Minecraft.jar side, just like this, and replace, press OK, and you are done. That's how you install Optifine. Hopefully it works for you. Some computers can't really handle Optifine. I'm not sure what type of computers can't. But yeah, let's go ahead and log in to see if it worked. So once you go to single player and go into any world you like, you should notice that maybe um, you're not lagging. To make sure that the mod did install correctly, just press Escape. Go to Options and Video Settings. And now if you notice, you have tons of video settings, um, a lot of different options that you can, in which you could tweak your Minecraft game. Um, yeah, then it worked perfectly. So yeah, it worked perfectly for me. Of course, you could change this around to have it um, in which you could not lag at all. It's really, it's a really handy mod. There's really not much to cover because this is the unstable version. I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to update any new features in, you know, the original update. So there's not much to cover. Of course, the control key is to zoom up and this comes handy in a uh, multiplayer. Alright guys, so it's getting dark. Now I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all your support. I did have a download for this map in my giveaway. So if you want this map, go to the giveaway. I left the link in the description. Now you can have this. It's called, I forgot the name, sorry. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.